welcome in this video I'm going to give you a classroom tour I'm getting a new classroom in around six months when the new school year starts but I wanted to show you what I currently have I teach grades one two and three I use xylophones my telephones the ukuleles and boom whackers, and we do a lot of rhythm during this classroom tour I will show you some of my favorite resources that I have so far but if you have some that you think would work in my classroom I would love to hear what they are so recommend them in the comments below if you have a classroom tour video let me know I really want to see that too I love classroom tour videos especially since I'm getting a new classroom in the next year I want to see like some ideas for how to set up my own this is my velcro boom whacker wall the teacher before me created this and I left it because I thought it looks beautiful and it's an easy way to organize all of the instruments in one place. Inside these shelves I have rhythm sticks and hand drums. And then on the top and to the sides I have the small student version bongos. Inside this one I have tambourines, some shakers and other hand instruments and my djembe here on the side. And I love showing the kids that we are in the Ryukyu Islands so that we're not actually in mainland Japan and we're actually closer to Taiwan. It just puts things into perspective, right? I think hands down the most unique thing about this school is that whenever there's a student who didn't come to class, I have to ask, absent or PCS? If the kids say PCS, then that means the student is gone for good and they're not coming back to school. So that's probably happened to me about once or twice a week so far since I started working here. I don't know if it will change as the seasons change. And with such a high rotation rate of students, I also have a lot of new students that come in. So I leave some of my personal information up here on the board so they can know a little bit about me. These are my student workstations. I have 13 of them in the classroom because my biggest class has 26 students. There will be two students at every section or at every workstation. Each workstation has a keyboard xylophone, right, or a percussion instrument, a mallet, an ukulele, and the workbooks that I built. And I'm currently building them up. In the beginning of every class, we start off with rhythm workouts. So this is the easiest level with just quarter notes and quarter rests. And then I add eighth notes and half notes and it just increases in difficulty. If you want to see a link to this from my TPT store, I will put it in the description box and I will also put a card on the screen. And then this one is not something that I created, but it is something that I use very often. It's like a boom, boom whacker hand bow song book. I will link it in the description as well. And then this is something that I did create. This is a ukulele chord progression. We're currently working on unit one and we've learned the first two chords of it. And this is just a little workbook that gets my students to read quarter notes, quarter rests, and also to start reading chord symbols. So now they know that if they see A minor, they have to continue A minor until a new chord comes up. By the end of the unit, the students will have to switch from C to A minor to F to G7, and then they'll have to do it again a little bit faster. And then once we finish this unit, we'll move on to unit two, which has G, E minor, C, and D7. That should be interesting. I use the sticker system when I teach ukuleles. If you want to see a video about that, I will add a card here on the video and a link in the description box. At each workstation, we have one of these stands. I absolutely love that they are tiny and that they're so portable. Up here on this shelf, I have some of the ukuleles, the ones that are left over or that are extra from the workstations. I have 24 ukuleles total. This is one of my teacher work areas. I have two in the classroom. On it, I have my journal, which I referenced to in a previous video. Pencil bag, some tea. This is my school ID. And believe it or not, this is actually the classroom key. I'd never seen anything like it, so I have both in one place. And then we don't actually log on with a password. We log on with a a card and we have to put in a pin so this is my computer this is my massive printer it's like bigger than my desktop the screen and then here's a soundboard and it leads to the speakers that are up there 
there's another one on the other side. Inside the first drawer, you'll find what you'll find at pretty much any desk, a hole puncher and office supplies. And I love me some washi tape, so here's this washi tape. In the second drawer, we have my teacher binder where I keep a version and extra copies of what is in the student workstations. And then we are trying to move to a project-based learning model, I think. We will, oh, I can't get it. We will transition to it. So I have the PBL, the elementary grades book or toolkit. A binder for the substitute teacher and I have to put this back in there. This is the emergency binder. We had a fire evacuation yesterday and extra copies of a lot of student work. In the center drawer I have a lot of remotes. I don't know what they control yet. <laughs> a really nice vintage stapler. <laughs> um, some quarter inch pl plug adapters. If you follow me on Instagram, you know why I have this. And then our school sells popcorn on Fridays for a quarter if you're wearing the school shirt and I'm a sucker for popcorn. And underneath my desk, I have my trusty heater. We don't have a heater in the classroom, so it gets pretty cold in here. When I'm working, I forget about it, but when I'm sitting at my desk, I get cold. And I have this little closet in the classroom. I opened up and saw these guitars. I don't think they've been played in decades. So I will use these once the kids get better at ukulele and I can transition them into guitar. Then we have some extra boom whackers, this xylophone, my telephone that is missing pieces, extra pieces that don't fit it, of course, octavators for the boom whackers. That's what they're called, right? And then we have a parachute and all of those boxes are recorders. So yeah, I haven't used those recorders. I'm a little scared of doing recorders. Let's see if I use them next year. In the storage I showed you earlier, there were these interesting instruments that I thought have to be showcased. So I put them out so that the kids could see them and we do play with them from time to time. This is my second teacher workspace. It is kind of boring compared to some of those beautiful desks you see other teachers have. In it, I have extra stickers for the ukulele. Sometimes they fall off, so I have replacements here. Some post-it notes in case I need to make a quick note. My document camera, and of course, the smart board is connected to this computer. This is my double stand. In it, I have the kindness counts cards. This is like a behavior system that the whole school participates in. Pass to the health room, and then this is attendance and grading. But of course, I'm not showing it to keep the kids' privacy. And then also, I have important numbers back here and some ukulele tuners. On this bookshelf, we have colored pencils. I haven't used these. These were from the previous teacher. We have some mallet buckets, another mallet bucket, and then these share the music books. I have to admit, I tried using them, and I just... I, I don't know, I wasn't as effective. So let me know if you use these and you have effective ways of using them. I would love to learn. This is a cute music sign that the teacher before me made and I left it. I thought it was really pretty and she probably spent a lot of time on this. This file cabinet and um, refrigerator came with my classroom. If I had it my way, I probably wouldn't have them in here as I am a minimalist and I also think they're really big. Here's another student workstation, and here's kind of what the room looks like from this perspective. Well, that was my classroom tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. Do you have a classroom tour video? If you do, please link it in the comments below because I want to come and see it. Thank you so much for watching my classroom tour. I will be doing an updated version maybe in August or September once I get my new classroom. So come back to my channel so you can see that. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara!